Okay, revision question, here we go. So there's a change in B and the final is 0.78T minus the initial. We've got a change in time, 0.13 seconds, gives us little n. Little n is the number of turns. It gives us the area and it gives us a resistance. I think that's about it. It wants us to find the magnitude of the current, right? So what formulas? EMF equals... EMF is measured in volts, yeah? So what's also measured in volts? Voltage. Voltage is equal to? Current times resistance. So we can make them equal to each other. What? That's, a, that's an I, by the way. So make this one equal to this one. You end up with I. Let's sub stuff in. Times R equals number of turns, 50 times change in B, 0.78 times the area in meters squared divided by the time. So if we divide this by this, we get the current. And the current is 23, or approximately 23 amps. So we've got EMF. What's the EMF, everybody? What's the dia uh, What's the radius, everybody? 0 0.03 meters, because we want it in meters. Uh, so we can find the area of... Everyone remember this rule? <laughs> Alright, next we've got change in time. What's the change in B? B final minus B initial, 6.9 minus 1.2. All right, EMF formula, here we go. EMF equals the number of turns, negative number of turns, times the change in the flux divided by the change in time. So we need the number of turns, we don't know what that is, so we sub everything in and rearrange. And divide that by the time in seconds, so that number, so 3.5 divided by that big number there gives you the number of turns. 200 turns. Woohoo! Negative means instead of winding the turns around this way, I wound them around this way. What? Not for turns. It doesn't matter for turns. Not in this question. If it gives you some direction, yes. Neither of these two questions I've done gave a direction.